there's one thing that I've learned over the last few years of being in business at a higher level, right? I've been in sales and business for over a decade, but over the last three years, let's say being in business at the highest level, brushing shoulders with high level entrepreneurs. This is a topic that actually was very dominant in a conversation that I was involved in on a call with a couple of successful entrepreneurs. And they were discussing this specific topic and going very deep into this topic. So uh, if there's one key to winning that I've realized over the last three years is this, it's being aggressive and aggression or being aggressive tends to have negative connotations, right? A lot of you guys already might be put off by that or turned off by that because you don't want to be aggressive. You don't want to be known as aggressive or you think aggression is something negative or something bad, depending on your conditioning, depending on what you've seen, depending on what you associate the word with, right? But I'm talking here aggression in the sense of business, in the context of business and in the context of your personal life in terms of you pursuing your goals, right? So just to be clear, when I say being aggressive, this is exactly what I mean. So if there's one key to winning, it's being aggressive. Now, most people are what? Most people are cautious, right? Most people are more timid. Most people are more risk averse. And I know I'm generalizing. Of course, there are tons of people that are also none of those things are, are like-minded like us and whatnot. But generally speaking, if we had to take the entire population into, into account, most people are cautious, they're risk averse. So if you can learn to be more aggressive, you're already at an, at an advantage. You already have an unfair advantage over most of the population. Now you want to ask yourself this, these questions, right? The first one is, am I being aggressive with my goals? So you want to really take a look within, again, going back to the internal, am I being aggressive with my goals? Or if you think you're being aggressive on some level, maybe the question is, am I being aggressive enough with my goals? Aggressive enough in order to actually achieve these goals and win. The second question would be, am I the most aggressive person in my space or in my industry? This is a critical one for you guys to ask. Everybody here is in business. We have the auto space. We have different courses and teaching programs. We have the financial space. We have, uh, again, auto space, sports and entertainment and whatnot. We have logistics. We have arts. We have all kinds of different PR and media. There's fitness. There's all kinds of different industries that we're all in. So you want to look at your industry and you want to look at the entire group as a whole, look at the space as a whole and ask yourself this question. Am I the most aggressive person in this space or is my business the most aggressive business in this space? Chances are it's going to be a no for pretty much everybody here. And that's a good thing to know. Again, it's a good thing to be aware of. So these are some questions you want to ask. Am I being aggressive with my goals or aggressive enough? Am I the most aggressive person in my space or in my industry? So right now we're at a very unique opportunity. We're in a unique situation. We have everything that's going on worldwide. You're all aware. I don't have to go over it. We have all these challenges, issues, problems worldwide. We have, when it comes to business, logistical issues, supply chain issues, everything that's going on worldwide. And then we also have, we're at the very end of the year and we're about to start a new year. So it's a very unique time. And this time allows for one thing, if you're conscious of it, and if you're having a discussion like we are here today, and that one thing is it allows you to separate yourself. So if there's any time to separate yourself, it's right now with everything that's going on. And how do you separate yourself? You separate yourself using the number one key to winning, which is what? Aggression, being more aggressive going into this new year.